Hello and welcome to another devlog. So a while back I created a poll to help me decide on a name for this game, and then I never brought it up again. Well, that's because there were a few problems with that. The first being that YouTube has now removed the poll option for info cards, and it looks like it removed the poll from the video. So I can't go back and look at it anymore to see the results, and now I sound dumb when I tell people to click on an info card that doesn't exist. Another issue I noticed before the poll got removed is that I got exactly one vote for each name. It doesn't bother me too much since I didn't really like those choices to begin with, and I'm bringing this up now because I was talking with a friend who thought of a name that I had considered but didn't stick with. I changed my mind now and I think I've decided to call this game Hooked. Let me know what you think in the comments and let's move on to the progress update. I spent some time on YouTube learning how to rig models in Blender, and then took some time to finally rig the player. You can see me struggling with the weights right now, and I'm still trying to figure that out. I seem to get too much deformation in the model, no matter what. I suspect that it might work better if I had more vertices, but I haven't really tried that yet. If you know anything about it, I'd appreciate any advice you can give. And since I haven't settled the weights yet, I haven't really started working on any animations either. I spent a lot of the time setting up the recap scene that's going to tell the player about the fish they sold in the previous day. I started by setting up a scene transition for when the day ends. Then I had to change how I was handling the data that needs to be persistent between scenes. For anyone who doesn't know, every time you load a scene in Unity, nothing gets saved. So every time I load back into the game scene, it's just like I'm starting the game all over again. I found a really good blog on how to save data between scenes, and I'll leave a link in the description. Now I'm able to pass along the data that I need to keep, like how much the player made each day, how much money they have total, and what fish they caught. Right now it only shows how many fish were caught, but I'm actually keeping a list of all the different fish and just displaying the length. After getting the information into the recap scene, I needed to make sure it was reloading into the game scene too, so I added a button that will just load back into the game scene, and sure enough I was able to easily get the information I needed. The next thing that I needed to save was the current level of each of the player's tools, like the fish finder, but I ran into an issue before I could start working on that. It turns out that my shop stopped working. I wasn't able to interact with any of the buttons, and, well, it turns out that I just needed to increase the sort order because something was blocking the raycasts. I'm not really sure what I added that caused this, but for now I'll just make sure the UI is the first layer. The upgrades took me a little bit to figure out, and that's not because it was so much harder to save and load that data, it's more so because I wanted to change too much at once. That ended up breaking my shop and causing an old reference. After simplifying things again, I got the upgrades to save properly, so when I increase the fish finder here to tier 2, then reload the game scene, you can see that when I increase it again, it's going to go straight to tier 3. It also works how you would expect for the cargo, but I only have two different tiers for the cargo right now, so it's harder to show that. I still want to try and change up the upgrade system, because right now, I basically have the same script on each tool, it just has a few small differences. So I'm working on switching it over to a single script, where I just tell it which tool I want to change. The last thing I did was just a small change that sells any fish the player is still holding automatically when a day ends. This helped me decide to set up an event that gets triggered when the day ends, since there's a lot of other things that I want to happen when the day ends too. That's all the progress I have to share in this devlog, so if you liked it, be sure to hit the like button. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe, especially if you want to see the video I've been working on about the Unity input system. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.